Thank you. Good, good. Um, can you update us on uh, the fitness and injury situation, please? Um, we have back uh, from the last game, Digne and uh, Ivobi and the others. So at least we have out uh, Delf, Gabamen, Alan and uh, Konku. The other are all good. Um, it was an impressive win against Sheffield Wednesday in the FA Cup at the weekend. Have some of those players that, that came into the side given you something to think about ahead of this game with Leicester? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think we, we we started well this part of the season. We played good football. Uh, it was a good result. Now we have a, a different kind of game, really more more difficult. It's an important test for us. Leicester is one of the top team in the Premier League, and we have, we we have a good memory of the last game that we played against them because I think it was our best game that we played this season and uh, for this reason we have confidence. That win um, in particular, as you say, you're one of the few sides that have managed to beat Leicester this season. What do you think was the, the most important factors in that victory? I think we know the, 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 the quality of this team. They are really good in front and so it will be important to let them to use this quality when they attacked, so they are really good in counter attack. It's true, it's true that uh, the absence of Jamie Vardy can affect them because Vardy is a fantastic striker. But they have a good squad, they have a good players, and they have a good organization. As far as your strikers are concerned, how important is it to have Dominic Calvert Lewin back in the squad again? Oh, really important. Also, really important to have him. He scored goal against Sheffield. Uh, also, Richard is on his back that uh, it seems uh, in a better condition. And so we are pleased to have both of them because we are more opportunity in front, for sure. As far as Leicester are concerned, they've had a fantastic run and, and up at the, the top end of the table. Do you feel as if they are genuine uh, contenders for the title this year? Well, they were... <laughs> To be contender of the title means to be at the top. They, they, it's a long time that they are at the top. They were at the top last season, and then um, they didn't reach the the the, the Champions League. Uh, I think for one point, and but uh, they are still there, and they have uh, um, how can I say confidence? It it seems a team that has a let. Uh, le um, uh, has a lot of confidence when they play. So they, they know what to do on the pitch. Uh, we've only got a few days left until the end of the January transfer window uh, coming up, Carlo. Do you expect it to be doing any business between now and the, the end of, of uh, January the 1st? There are no news at the moment, no news. We are not looking for other players and the players that are here... Uh, I uh, like to stay here, so there are no news at the moment. Are there likely to be any players leaving, do you think? Cenk Tosun in particular and, and John Joe Kenny are two players who've been mentioned with other clubs. I don't know if they are talking with other teams. Uh, really, I don't know. Until they are here, I treat them like uh, our players. They are our players. And uh, we will see if they can find if they are talking with other teams. I'm not talking. I'm not going to ask if they are talking until they talk to me and until now they didn't talk to me. And just finally from me, Carlo, um, we had this sad news yesterday that uh, Frank Lampard has uh, lost his job at uh, Chelsea. Um, what do you make of, of, of that decision? Well, it's not unusual that a manager has, uh, is sacked. Uh, Frank Lampard knows this. I think that my personal opinion to be sacked is part of our job. We have to understand this because uh, uh, that's it. I was sacked everywhere and so uh, I have to, to consider this fact that uh, it's part of our job and Frank will find uh, soon another, another opportunity and because he is a good manager, he did well at Chelsea, but... Uh, I think that for the reason that was for for the club was not enough. It's simple this, but 
I, I think at, at the end, it's not the sad news. It's close one door and for him, that is Chelsea. I understand that Chelsea for him was uh, his club. He played for them, but he, he, for sure he is going to have another opportunity soon. You know it yourself. It, it's very difficult there at Chelsea. I mean, just how hard is it to be a manager there when there's so much expectation at a club like that? Uh, listen, then it, Chelsea is not more difficult than uh, other clubs. Uh, it's the same. It's the same. So every uh, every club has expectation, and uh, when the things are not good, how they like, what they going to do? They change. Uh, they can. They are going to change twenty players. The easiest way is to change the manager. And this is what happened in football. But the managers, all the manager knows this, knows this. And so we have to consider this a part of our job and nothing more. OK, thank you very much, Carlo. Andy Sixsmith, please, from Premier League Productions. Hiya, Carlo. Just uh, looking at the Premier League table currently, two points off the top four, but two games in hand over many of your rivals. How big an opportunity at this stage is this to break into that top four? No, I think it's... Uh, if you think about the game against Leicester, if you think about the game against Newcastle, it will, <coughs> it will be important for us to understand where we want to be, we would like to be in, in the future. So, I think it, it is a really, really important game for us to know what we want to be in the future, we want to, to fight for the top four, we want to fight for the top six. Uh, it, it is really important, it's not only the game against Leicester, but the fact that we played, we are going to play home these next two games. Uh, I think that after uh, Saturday, we know where we are going to be in the future. Yeah, I hope that... It will be a nice future, I hope I hope so. <laughs> Just uh, on that game against Leicester, of, of course, Leicester aside, that know all about breaking the top four these days. How much have they almost become the blueprint for teams outside the traditional top six to break that stronghold in the Premier League these days? Yeah, I, I think that uh, the, the Premier League is competitive this season for this reason, because... There are teams like us, like West Ham, like Southampton, that we are not used to stay there. We are not used. So I think for for these clubs, for us, for it's really excited to be there and to try to fight with the, the usual top teams. And I know, uh, just lastly, Fraser mentioned the game back in, in back in December. Obviously, how much did you learn about Leicester? as a side from that excellent win, you know, you refer to it as, as the best win or best performance this season. How much did you learn about Leicester then? Yeah, that to win, you need to do the best performance. You need to, to, to do a performance at 100%. You cannot let them, the, the possibility to use their, to have the possibility to put on the pitch their quality. They have a lot of qualities. And our performance to beat them has to be 100%, not less. Thanks, Carlo. Best of luck. Alistair from the BBC. Hi, Carlo. Um, Hi. You're just talking about there about um, the top four and, you know, after these two games, it's going to be exciting to see what your future is. Do you miss the Champions League? Personally? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I think that the Champions League is the best competition in the world. And so to play, as I said, when I arrived here, to, to bring Everton and to play games in Champions League is a fantastic motivation for, for me personally. It will be fantastic to play with Everton in Champions League. It's a great, great motivation and a great, great desire. Yeah, because obviously um, when you first came into Everton, you said you wanted to take Everton to the very top. So that's part of the plan, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah. this is the, the, the target that we have for the future. I don't know how long it's going to take this. I hope that soon we can play games in Champions League because the Champions League is the best competition in the world. 
And just uh, last of all, uh, you talked there about Frank Lampard. Do you think that he was maybe, um, it came too soon? Did he join Chelsea too soon? Does Chelsea need a more experienced manager, maybe like yourself in the past? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that when you start a career like a manager or a player also, every career you don't have experience. It's important to have knowledge. And I think Lampard, what he did um, as a player and what he did when he was a manager before to go to Chelsea has knowledge of football. And when you have knowledge of football, with the knowledge of football, you can grow your experience. But everyone that starts a career has no experience. It's the same. I, I want to compare Pirlo. They are asking me about Pirlo and Juventus. But I, of course, they don't have experience. But the, the experience is not the, more, the most important part of your job. The most important part of your job is the knowledge and is the, uh, and the man management. And after that, with the knowledge and with this, day by day, you can grow, uh, you can improve your experience. Wise words. Thanks so much. Pleasure. Uh, James Mountford. Hi, Carlo. Good afternoon. Um, I think many other Italians were really pleased to see um, Thierry Small and, and Tyler come on at, at the weekend. I just wonder what what's the process? Um, how how does it come that these players are included in the squad and, and then given given their debuts? Who do you have to consult with uh, to to enable that to happen? No, the progress is that the, we are working on this player. We take care of our academy. We have a fantastic manager that are looking for this. We are really. Close, we have really the first team has really close relationship with the academy. Um, Leighton Baines is working now on in, in this part, is involved in this. And when we have a possibility, of course, we try to bring in our squad, in our team, with in our trainings, the, the young players. And uh, Tyler and Thierry were with us. I had the opportunity to put him. I think it's, uh, it was good for them, but can be an opportunity soon also for others. Because they are, our academy is, uh, is good, is good. I have you to mean, say, we are, after one year, they are working really well. They are working really well. And you mentioned the injuries at, at the start of the press conference today. You, you had six or perhaps seven in, injured players for the weekend, but you still put out a, a very competitive ski, uh, team. How how happy are you now with the squad depth that, that you've got in your squad? Well, on, honestly, we, we we don't have a lot of injury. The fact that in this moment, because Delph uh, he started to train with us, and so practically he um, he is back. We have only Gabaman and Alan that that soon can recover and Konku also. The squad in this moment for the fact that we didn't play a lot in the last 10 days, are in a good condition, all. Thank you. Um, finally, in the open section, we'll come to Carl Markham, please. Hi, Carlo. Hi. Hi. Um, James, uh, Calvert-Lewin and Richardson have only started eight out of 17 Premier League games this season. I guess it might be too simplistic to say it, but how important is you know increasing that number with those three starting regularly going to be to your se the rest of the season? Yeah, I think it, it will be important to have both of them. They are really they they are really well to combine together in front. Uh, of course, we need we need them also defensively because uh, I think the balance is really important. But uh, I think we are going to have a lot of game and. Uh, uh, where we cannot rest um, properly and so rotation also uh, for this reason can be can be important it's important to have players available for for most of this game uh, or Richarlison or Carver Lewin or or Hammers were not available and we try to adapt we adapted really well and now that they are back we expect a little bit more in front 
and and James looks uh, on Sunday looked like he he was back to the sort of form we saw earlier in the season. It, did did you see that as well? Yeah, I, it was really good with the ball. At what we are going to ask to him to be really good and efficient uh, with the ball. He made a lot of asses. Uh, he's really good to the river set pieces, and so. For the fact that he is back, uh, Richarlison and Carvel Louis can take advantage. Um, just finally from Greg in the, the open section, please. Hi, Carlo. Given um, Leicester's Hi. qualities in attack, and, and given that you've got some of your defenders coming back for the game tomorrow, would you consider playing Mason Holgate in, in a midfield role like uh, like Duncan did last year against United, or maybe even Ben Godfrey? Is an option. Is an option. Also, if uh, we don't have Ducure, we don't have Alan. But Tom Davis, the play, the, the game that he played, he did really well. He satisfied me a lot. He's gonna play. Tom, we have Andre that uh, Gomez that did really well in the the last game. But I know that uh, Mason can play also as a midfielder. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks, guys. Uh, that's the end of the open section. If we can move on to the newspapers now, so anyway.